Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. This is Dash, and this is gonna be a quick and dirty video because I'm so excited my wife bought me a sous vide, okay? If you don't know what a, a sous vide is, you're gonna have to look it up. Actually, you're not gonna have to look it up. You know why you're not gonna have to look it up? Because I'm gonna make you very familiar with what a sous vide is soon. So what I just did, I just sous vide a steak. I cooked a steak in a hot water bath and um, I cooked it to 129 degrees and it's supposed to be perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sear it. You guys get to watch. Okay, I put some, um, I put some cooking spray in this pan and I am, I have this pan, it is on hell right now. And we're going to sear the steak. I'm gonna do like 45 seconds. I actually need to do 30 seconds. Ooh, the anticipation is killing me. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how to make diamond marks before. Once I flip the steak over, I'm gonna see what it looks like. And that'll determine if I'm gonna let it go for a minute on when I flip it to the other side or whether or not I'm going to uh, keep it at about 30 seconds. So while this is working, um, in case you don't know, this is a bone-in ribeye. I'm uh, hoping it turns out very well. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be great. So the last piece or the last, you know, the last step when you sous vide something is to sear it. So that's what I'm doing right now, or at least with the steak, you sear it. So I am searing the steak now. And we did 30 seconds per direction. And while that, the last piece is working, I'm going to clear a space on my counter. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, I'm gonna let this rest for one moment and I'm gonna move you over to the other counter or to a counter so hopefully we'll have a little better light. And, um, wow, look at that thing. We'll have a little better light and uh, I'm gonna cut into it. Okay, so unfortunately, you, you're gonna, I don't know. I think you're probably gonna to wanna to be zoomed in on the steak, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the steak. You don't wanna see me, you wanna see the steak, right? I know I'd wanna see the steak. All right, so let's get down to it. The steak is rested for all of five minutes, if that, and No, I wouldn't normally cut into a steak like this, but oh my goodness, look at that right there. I'm 
I'm gonna take a picture of this beautiful thing. And, of course, I know you guys wanna know how this thing tastes. It's pretty good. Hmm. For this, for this being my first sous vide experience, now this. I don't know, this is more rare. I'm gonna try this piece here. And actually, it probably cooked a little more or a little, ah, um, oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Mmm. I'm kinda hacking this steak up. Cutting all around because I want to see just how well it was cooked. And oh, look at this that, that piece of fat right there. Oh. I have to say, this is pretty amazing. For this to be my first, first steak. This, of course, was a bone-in ribeye. And... I'm pretty impressed. Mm. Alright, so, um, first impressions. And actually, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna start. Um, this is my dinner. I think, I kind of think maybe I should not have um, used a bone in cut. Uh, maybe I should have used the bone list cut. Um, the bone, actually no. Doesn't look like it made much difference. I'm still, I'm still figuring some things out. But this is my first, first use of the um, Anova Precision Cooker. The, uh, and again, this is a uh, sous vide, and that's S-O-U-S-B-I-D-E. It is French. Sous vide means under vacuum. <clears throat> so, this is the one that I have, and I'll put a link down in the description. My wife actually got it uh, for me after I talked about it one day. She got it for me um, from Amazon. We live in Baltimore, as some of you guys know. Um, in certain, ma uh, certain major metropolitan cities, they have what's called the treasure truck. And this past Thursday's treasure that was on the truck was this thing. And this is the first time I've used it. I'm impressed. I think um, if I use it again, I might go ahead and kind of let the steak maybe marinate a little bit. One of the things, or, or maybe I just need to do a better sear on it. All right, so maybe I'll cook it a little lower to, uh, to temperature, or cook it to a lower temperature, and then I can sear it a little better. Because, so here, this piece is closer to the outside edge. And this piece was closer to the inside edge and uh, hopefully you were able to see the difference between the two this is definitely more pink than this this is more of a mid rare or this is more like a medium and it's not that it's bad I just think I would like a little more flavor so I might actually have to let my um, let the meat 
be seasoned for a little while. Or I could have added a little bit, bit more seasoning. Um, honestly enough, I, I'm just trying to figure this out myself. So I've, uh, I've thoroughly hacked this steak up, but for what it's worth, I'm definitely going to be, you know, trying to find some some different things to cook with this. And um, if you guys have any, I apologize for not looking at the camera there because I'm cutting my steak. I don't want to lose any fingers. But <clears throat> wrap this up. If you guys have any recommendations on things I should cook or recommendations on things you'd like me to see cooked, please leave a comment down below. Obviously, this is a brand new toy for me, and um, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I say all the time, one can't live on smoked meats alone. Here's me trying a different methodology to prepare my food, and um, if you like what you saw, do me a solid, leave a thumb up, thumbs up down below, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, as always.